Welcome back to our Media Review Series. I am Nitya Rangarajan and in this episode, I will cover the key events and learnings from the months May and June using my own experiences as examples. I will also provide tips on balancing life and celebrating your wins. Plus, there is a special worksheet available for you to download and use for your own review. Let's begin. May was a month filled with personal time, vacations and family functions. Taking a break to recharge and spend quality time with loved ones was essential for my overall well-being. Balancing work and family time can be challenging, but it's crucial to prioritize both. During my vacation, I made it a point to disconnect from work and fully engage with my family. This helped me return to work more refreshed and motivated. On the professional front, I published paperbacks of two of my books in May. This was a significant milestone and a testament to the hard work and dedication over the past months. Celebrating this achievement was important not only for acknowledging the effort but also for staying motivated and inspired to continue writing. In May, I also focused on expanding my course platform by adding new courses. This aligns with my goal of continuous learning and providing value to my audience. Balancing this with personal commitments required effective time management and prioritization. I set specific times for course development and ensured I stuck to them. Reflecting on June, June brought new experiences including having my own book stall at a literature festival thanks to my mentor Shweta Samoka. Selling books directly to readers and interacting with them was a unique and rewarding experience. This event not only helped in expanding my network but also in receiving direct feedback from readers which was invaluable. In June, I simultaneously worked on 5th and 6th books of mine. Juggling multiple writing projects was challenging but it was also a period of immense creativity and productivity for me. Setting realistic goals and deadlines for each project helped in managing the workload effectively. Reflecting on how far I have come since the start of the year was crucial, it reinforced my belief in the power of consistent effort and dedication. This reflection also helped in identifying areas of improvement and setting new goals for the future. Now let me tell you some practical tips for balancing life and celebrating achievements. Let's see balancing personal and professional life. First is please delegate tasks. Don't hesitate to delegate tasks. Delegating allows you to focus on high priority tasks and ensures that everything gets done efficiently. For example, my son and his friends helped me in preparing bookmarks and banners for my book stall and that helped me focus on the core activities. Now, second one is to create a routine. Establish a routine that includes time for both work and personal activities. A well-structured routine helps in maintaining a balance for you. Third is to set clear boundaries to balance personal and professional life, allocate specific times for work and personal activities and please stick to them. Next is to prioritize self-care. Make self-care a priority. Taking care of your physical and mental health is crucial for maintaining overall productivity and well-being. Fifth point is to use a planner. Use a planner or a digital calendar to schedule your tasks and commitments. This helps in visualizing your time and ensuring a balanced approach. Now, how do you celebrate achievements? You have to reward yourself. Set rewards for achieving your goals. This could be something simple like a day off or something grander like a weekend getaway. So, I went on a one-day tour with my son to celebrate our achievements. Second is to keep a journal. Maintain a journal of your achievements. Writing down your successes helps in acknowledging them and serves as a reminder of your progress. Third is to share it with your network. Share your achievements with your network. Celebrating with others not only enhances your joy but also inspires and motivates them. Fourth is to reflect and set new goals. Reflect on your achievements and set new goals. This continuous cycle of setting, achieving and reflecting keeps you moving forward. Wrapping up now, in the next episode, I will reflect on the entire first half of the year, summarizing the key takeaways and setting the stage for the rest of the year. Stay tuned. Don't forget to download your worksheet and start your reflection process. Share your experiences with us on social media with the hashtag full on self motivation. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and leave a review. Your feedback helps us improve and reach more listeners. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, balancing life and celebrating achievements are key to sustained success. Keep reflecting, stay motivated and continue striving for your goals. See you. Bye-bye.